G'day guys, this is Rob from troutlaw.com.au here with another fly tying video this week. Uh, following on from last week's video where we did the peccary emerger fly, we're now doing the peccary 718 stone fly tied on the firehole 718 uh, all purpose nymph slash stimulator hook. This is the, uh, the finished product, so let's get started with a fresh one. We are uh, I'll come on in here. I've already loaded this hook up. So it's the Firehole 718 hook. We're using size 14 today. On that, we've put a Firehole stone in the Almond Joy color and backed that up with a Firehole bug band in gold. They all stack neatly into each other and give you. A nice little head to begin with the stones obviously are a matte finish so they're not too flashy but the band gives you that little bit of extra flash in uh, where the wing case would be just to uh, get the fish's attention so from there we're going to come in with Vivas six sort thread in brown we'll get that started on the hook trim off the excess run the thread all the way back down so that we're well into the bend and then bring it forward to wedge it up right behind that bug band now the next step we're going to put in the legs and the tail in one for that we'll be using airline fine round rubber legs in brown from that pack we picked off two legs and kept them together, not, sit, not splitting them. We'll take about an inch in front of the hook eye and then right behind that bug band, a couple of wraps around and then just nest that so it's sitting on top, then put some pressure on it and a couple of tighter tighter wraps now when we're wrapping this down the hook shank we don't want the rubber to get all bulbed up underneath the thread we want a nice thin flat coating so what we're going to do is take this rubber and stretch it right back and then make touching wraps all the way back down to where we started with that thread to begin with this point we realize that the uh, vice is a little unstable from changing the jaws over earlier so we'll lock those jaws back into place now that we have the tail at the back we can leave that as it is for now we'll trim that later on these two legs at the front are going to stay in one piece that way it keeps them out of the way they're not getting caught up and we'll separate them later in the process. The next step, which you know varies this from the standard 718 stone that I tie, is the body material where we're coming in and using peccary main. For this, we're using the main as opposed to the shorter body hair, purely because it's quite a long shank and we need a fair bit of coverage. So from those longer main feathers, not feathers, hairs rather, we're going to pluck one out and as in the previous video we will come in and tie it about the width of one of those white barred sections back into the dark brown black area. And that should give us the right amount of length we need and we'll even out the barring up the body so we catch that and then allowing the hair to sit on top as we run the thread up trim that excess off and secure it down nicely next stage we're going to wrap this peccary up the body starting off 
with our thumb and four fingers for the first half a dozen wraps or so just so we can get them in place working around that hook point and then once we've come this far we locate our misplaced hackle pliers and remove the previous bit of peccary from it and come in and then continue wrapping all the way up the stem of that peccary here. Using these hackle pliers allows us to get right to the very tip and make the most of every little millimetre on that uh, peccary hair. So then we can bring our thread around under the hackle pliers right up close to secure that. Trim off the excess and a couple of wraps just to make sure that's not going anywhere. We don't need to concern ourselves with that little stub sticking up. That's going to be coated anyway and that'll end up covered in dubbing when we create the thorax. So at this point, I'm just going to put a quick half hitch in there to secure that in place. And then just a couple of turn whip finish and trim that off. That gets our thread out of the way. We'll bring that back in and apply it in a moment. But before then, we need to coat our peccary with a UV resin. Uh, obviously, you can fish it like this. It gives you a satin look to the body, but it only takes one toothy critter to come along and bite that. And uh, you'll end up with that peccary splitting and it can come apart and that's the end of your fly. So we're going to use Loon UV Clear Fly Finish in the thin. And for this, I'm actually going to remove the nozzle and I'm going to use the applicator brush just so I can get a nice coating on there and work it in between those peccary fibers to fill up the gaps. I don't want a lot of resin on there, but I want to get in between. those hair fibers that create a nice smooth body. Just come around on all the sides. And just bring away that excess. Once we're happy with the coating on that, I think we'll just put a little extra on the back there. Just in there, just to fill that out. Lid goes back on the bottle before we knock it over. And then out comes the Loon Infinity UV torch. This is the torch of choice these days. It's um USB chargeable, so you don't have to worry about replacing batteries, and it is super powerful. This is one of the brightest torches on the market, and it cures this UV resin in a snap. Not only that, you do get a much harder, shinier coat out of it in less time. So we just work out that around. It'll be dry to the touch now, but we just want to properly harden that up. No point doing it by halves. It only takes 20 seconds or so. And that's good. Now that we've got that nice glossy coat on the body, it's back in with the thread where we left off. Just 
Pop that on again. And to complete the thorax, we are going to use Spirit River Antron dubbing in the hair's ear colour. This dubbing, unlike a lot of other trilobal antrons, is super fine. Very, very soft. It's almost like a nylon. You don't need a lot of it, but it does have a lot of sparkle and it catches the light just the way you'd expect with Antron. So a little bit of dubbing wax on the, the thread and then we're just going to create a nice fine dubbing noodle. And bring that around, fill up the back, just behind where those legs are tied in. Pulling it forward to force that gold band to nest in behind the bead. And now I'll just finish off leaving about an inch and a half on that double noodle. We'll come in with our, with our thumbnail and split those legs. They're already wanting to fold back. We're going to take them back on a 45 degree angle. And with the near side of one, wrap across on that 45 so it pulls it back that way. And then one wrap behind it, straight across. And another wrap behind it. Fix up that, that dubbing. Another wrap behind it, and we come back on the 45, pulling the leg on the far side down as we do it. That way, as you can see, it folds those legs nicely back. That brings us in front of the legs, behind the band, and now all we need to do is pop in. A little half hitch in there to secure it and then a whip finish just behind the band in between that and the dubbing. Take the thread off there, now we just need to trim it down. I take these legs bring them together without stretching them, just pulling them back. I trim them to the back of the body as a marker. And I'll pop them out like so. Then we take the tail and a similar length, trim that. All we need to do then is separate those tail fibers with our thumbnail they should flare out like that and there we go a very effective little nymph pattern natural colors with just that little bit of sparkle from the bug band hard wearing thanks to the uv resin so you can drag that along the bottom all you like you'll catch plenty of fish with it it's barbless so it's an easy hook set and an easy release um, and a great fly to fish in a tandem rig or underneath a dropper all the way through summer right into autumn where we are now so thank you for watching don't forget to like uh, subscribe to the channel and of course share the video if you feel like you want to and we look forward to uh, seeing you again next week of course all the materials from this video can be found at our website troutlaw.com.au i will in the description down there put links to all the products so you can then find each one uh, there is also a fly tying kit for this entire package available on our site you can grab that as well if you want if you make it nice and easy link will also be down there so thanks a lot and we'll see you again next week